Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Tute Mom and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you what is in our April morning basket. So it's the month of April already and I thought I would share with you how things are changing in our morning basket and how things are staying the same. I'm really liking this idea of reviewing things and introducing new concepts in the morning. But the problem is the more I get into doing a morning basket, the more things I start to add the more things I find, oh, I really want to do that with the kids. So I've had to be very careful to not overwhelm them or overwhelm myself. And I had so many good things that I wanted to share with you for the month of April. So the first one is this book called Easter Around the World. It's by Shannon Knudsen, K-N-U-D-S-E-N. We read a similar book um, to this over Christmas that was called Christmas Around the World. And there is about four to six pages um, for each country that you read about and it talks about the traditions and what they do for the holiday and since Easter is at the beginning of April I thought this would be a good one for example there's Russia this would be a good book for us to read in the mornings that first week before um, we go on spring break so this has been a fun one to introduce cultures around the world and the idea of the holiday and that we don't all celebrate Easter the same way and that there's different ways of celebrating the kids really enjoy these style books. I feel like it's a good way to include a little bit of social studies in your morning. Along with that, we are also doing a, um, a program called, I don't even know who this is through. It's called the Passport Club. It's something that our charter school started doing. Um, you're supposed to start in the fall in September, but we didn't get the passports and the maps until January, I don't believe. So we're working on the October map. And for each map, there is a level one, two, three, four, and five. I'm working on just trying to get us through one, two, and three. And then if the kids want to take it on themselves to study levels four and five, they can do that. But each level has about five different countries that you need to memorize. And so we are doing October's map. Um, Level one is places like Brazil, which is pretty easy to identify, Australia, US, and then Thailand and Congo. Thailand, I had a pretty good idea of where it was. Congo, not so much. So there are a few places that even I'm not really sure. So this has been a good way to include map work. We just go over one or two of the levels every morning and talk about what we remember. I'm hoping to get us through levels one through three of the October map in April. I feel like that's a good way. When my kids, I, I know geography is not something that everybody does, but for us we really like to do geography so that as they're reading a story or reading about something in history they have a frame of reference of kind of where that goes. Similar to that, we decided to join the 50 states postcard exchange this month and so we've been getting a couple of postcards. I think we've gotten three so far. Oops. Louisiana. <laughs> so we are sending out postcards to people of different states and talking about our state. Specifically, I thought it would be fun for us because we live in California. People know a lot about California, but it's so diverse. And so we, um, on the postcards that we write, we try to focus primarily on our part of Northern California and what makes us unique. So it's fun to get postcards and when we get them in the mail, I put them aside and we read through them in our morning time. <clears throat> After we finish the Easter book, we are going to be going on to reading sections of this book because this is where we're at in our California history. If you lived at the time of the great San Francisco earthquake, I picked this up for 20 cents at a library sale. And if you have read any of these, if you lived books, they are so full of fantastic information that we're going to be including this in our morning time, probably just two to four pages a day, each little section to be talking about the San Francisco earthquake. And we just did a video earlier this week, actually, about poetry tea time. And it's something we've only tried once, but I'm already working on trying to figure out how I can balance that in our homeschool, if that's something we need to do 
every couple of weeks. I'm, I'm looking at wanting to do it twice a month. So one of the books that we showed in that video, which I will link down below, was Vile Verses by Roald. I know it's not Ronald. I said Ronald the other day. I know that's not right. Doll. And he wrote James and the Giant Peach, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, Matilda, I believe. These are so funny. They're a little bit longer, but they're all written in rhyme scheme. My favorite part is the ones at the very beginning, and they're the longest ones, but they take the um, fairy tales and they write them in kind of a poem beat. So today we read Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and he talked about how, if you think about it, Goldilocks should have been in a lot of trouble. She broke into somebody's house, she vandalized their home, she stole their food, she made an absolute mess, and then we all feel sorry for her. So these have been a lot of fun to share with the kids. Not only are they a great rhyme and they flow very easily, but they're kind of a funny take on the old classic. We're having a lot of fun with that. Our read aloud. You guys know we do an evening. We don't necessarily do that for our morning basket time, but our read aloud this month is On the Banks of Plum Creek. This is book four in the Little House series, which we are reading through this year. We just started this about two nights ago. So my husband has been reading with this, reading this chapter book with them in the evenings before bed. And then we always finish off our morning time with our message Bible. So that is what is in our April morning basket. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know about all the good finds that you are including in your April morning basket. I've got to hold myself back from not including everything. <laughs> and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.